University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. We've already seen the team from St Peter's College, Oxford, become the first to qualify for the semi-finals by winning the two quarter-final matches required under our draconian rules. And they'll be joined by whichever team wins tonight because each of them has already won a quarter-final. The losers will have to play and win another match to reach the semis. Now, the team representing Gomberland and Keys College, Cambridge, had convincing wins over St Anne's College, Oxford and Manchester University in rounds one and two, and then in their first quarter-final, they steamrolled Durham University, winning by 275 points to 95. Let's let them remind us who they are. Hi, I'm Ted, I'm from London, and I'm studying law. Hello, I'm Michael from Ballymena in Northern Ireland, and I'm studying for a PhD in history. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Anthony, I'm from Hertfordshire, and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Jeremy, I'm from Southampton, and I'm reading Natural Sciences. <laughs> the team from Magdalen College, Oxford, also had decisive victories in their first and second round matches against Pembroke College, Cambridge, and the Open University. They then won their first quarter-final with a very impressive 315 points, the highest score in the competition so far, leaving only 55 on the scoreboard for Trinity College, Cambridge. Let's meet them again. Hello, I'm Harry Gello. I'm from Stone in Staffordshire, and I'm studying classics. Hi, I'm Chris Savory from Burgess Hill in West Sussex. I'm, re I'm reading chemistry. And this is their captain. Hello, my name's Hugh Binney. I'm coming from Cheltenham in Gloucestershire, and I'm reading chemistry. Hello, I'm Cameron J. Quinn, originally from Los Angeles, California, and I read philosophy in French. OK, you all know the rules, so fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. Examples including Bill Clinton on Kelly Clarkson and Benedict Cumberbatch on the rock band U2. What uh, neologism... Maudlin Binney. Photobomb. Correct. <laughs> right, Maudlin, this first set of bonuses is on the City of London. Firstly, for five points, in which building on Ludgate Hill would one find the Latin inscription C. Monumentum Requiris Kirkham Spicky? I need the building and the person to whom it refers. What do you think? You would find the monument. I don't know. If you look, I don't know. I don't know who that would be or what. Like Nelson Pond, I mean. Yeah, Nelson's column. Uh, Nelson's column to Nelson. No, it's St Paul's Cathedral and it's Sir Christopher Wren. <laughs> Designed by Christopher Wren, a fluted Doric column close to London Bridge commemorates what event? 202 feet in height, it has a viewing gallery open to the public. Is that Nelson's column? No. Okay. No, no, no. What would the event be? Certainly. Even event. Um, Matter of Trafalgar. There is Nelson's column. What's the event? Wren. Yeah. It's going to be... Oh, it's Great Fire of London. Great Fire of London. Great Fire of London. Correct. And finally, for five points, the monument to which poet was one of the few in St Paul's Cathedral to survive the Great Fire of London. He was appointed Dean of St Paul's in 1621. Yeah. Dunn. It was John Dunn, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Passing the cities of Dortmund and Essen and meeting the Rhine at Duisburg, which river has a name that's become synonymous with the industrial heartland of Western Germany? Uh, Maudlin Gillard. Ruhr. The Ruhr is correct, yes. These bonuses are on French overseas departments. Two overseas French departments lie in the Caribbean. Which one is an island group lying between Montserrat and Dominica? Guadeloupe. Guadeloupe. Correct. Which overseas department served as a French penal colony from the 1850s to the 1950s and included the notorious Devil's Island? French Guiana. Correct. There are two overseas departments in the Indian Ocean, Mayotte and which other island lying between Madagascar and Mauritius? Réunion. Correct. Ten points for this. A eukaryotic organism incapable of carrying out photosynthesis whose cell walls contain chitin and which absorbs ah. organic... Maudlin Quinn. Fungus. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on a mineral group, Maudlin. Orgite, jadeite and spodumene belong to which group of rock-forming silicate minerals? Its name comes from the Greek words for fire and stranger. Is that what it is? No. Pyrozines. Pyrozines. Maybe? Pyrozines. Yes, or pyroxenes, yes. 
The subdivision of pyrazines include a group containing pigeonite and orthopyrazine. These are composed of iron, silica, a small amount of calcium, and which other metallic element? Aluminium. No, it's magnesium. Spodumene is an important ore of which alkali metal, the lightest of the solid elements, with atomic number three? Lithium. Lithium. Correct. Ten points for this. A country to the northwest of Nicaragua, the western portion of the island of Hispaniola, and a landlocked republic that borders on... Maudlin Quinn. Dominica. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. And a landlocked republic that borders Austria to the east are the only sovereign states whose single-word English names begin with what letter of the alphabet? He's Warner. B. No, it's H. Honduras and Haiti and Hungary. So, ten points for this starter question. The Columbus Laboratory, the cupola observation module, the docking compartment DC-1, the mini research module POISC, meaning search, and the US... He's Martinelli. International Space Station. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses, Gonville and Keys, are on world champions. Firstly, for five points. An abrasive personality plagued by mental health issues in later life Wilhelm Steinitz is generally regarded as the first person to achieve the status of world champion in what activity from 1886 to 1894? Chess, maybe. Chess. Chess. Chess is correct. Which German mathematician succeeded Steinitz as world champion in 1894 and went on to hold the title for a record period of almost 27 years? Um, it's too late for Gauss, is it? Mobius. Mobius? Yeah. Seven. Mobius? No, it's Lasker. And finally, for a possible five, noted for introducing a variety of chess with two new pieces, a chancellor and an archbishop. Which Cuban player defeated Lasker in the World Championship match of 1921? Cuban name? Marquez. Marquez. No, it's Jose Capablanca. Right, first picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a logo of an international cultural organisation based in Paris. Ten points, if you can name it. Maudlin Quinn. La Francophonie. Correct. <laughs> Maudlin, your bonuses are three more logos of international organisations that use French as an official working language. Five points for each you can name. Firstly... Mm. Uh, state state international Court of Justice. Court of Justice. Yeah. Mm. International Court of Justice. No, we'll see the whole oh, thing no, there at Oz. It's Interpol, of course. Secondly, um, the IMF. No, we'll see the whole thing. It's the OECD. Uh, there you are. And finally, the name by which this organisation has been known since 2002. The African Union. So it is, no, is it African Union, African Congress? It is. Yeah. 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 It used to be a Union of African States, maybe? So just maybe. Yeah. maybe. The African Union. It is the African Union. <laughs> right, ten points for this starter question. Analyzing decision making and cognitive biases in 99 short chapters, which Swiss founder of the intellectual community Zurich Minds wrote the 2013 bestseller The Art of Thinking Clearly Better Thinking, Better Decisions? Keys Love Day. Daniel Kahneman. No, anyone like to buzz from Maudlin? Oh, it's Rolf de Belli. Ten points for this. The wives of which royal figure included Constance, the daughter of the King of Castile, and also Catherine Swinford, the third surviving son of Edward III and Philippa of Hainault, he was the father of Henry IV. Keys Martinelli. John of Gaunt. Yes. The Duke of Lancaster. <laughs> Right, your bonuses are on names or terms that begin with three consecutive letters of the alphabet. For example, Tuvalu. In each case, give the term from the explanation. Firstly, a three-word German term denoting a literary genre of the later 18th century. It's typified by some of the early works of Goethe and Schiller. Sturm und Drang. Correct. Secondly, an alternative spelling for the westernmost region of Saudi Arabia. It includes the cities of Jeddah, Mecca and Medina. Any ideas? 
I J K K J I K M O N Mon Rovia. No, no, no. In jazz, and finally, associated with events in the history of Bohemia, the act of throwing a person out of a window. Defenestration. Yeah, defenestration. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. The old town of Ostuni and the Castel del Monte, built by the Emperor Frederick II, are among noted sites in which Italian region, bordering the Adriatic and Ionian seas, its provinces include uh, Bari... Maudlin Quinn. Um, no, you leave Buzz, you must answer, I'm sorry. Uh, and I'm going to have to find you five points, too. Its provinces include Bari, Brindisi and Taranto. He's Martinelli. Puglia. Puglia is correct, yes. Uh, right, Keys, your bonuses are on linear algebra. In each case, I want the total number of solutions, should they exist, of the given system of equations. Firstly, x plus y equals zero and x plus y equals one. Um, what do you think, Jess? You think zero solutions? Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah, uh, we'll go one. no solutions. Zero solutions. Zero solutions is correct. X minus Y equals zero and 2X minus 2Y equals zero. That's, that's, that's just infinite, infinite, infinite solutions, right? Infinite solutions. Infinitely many is correct, yes. And finally, X plus Y equals zero and X minus Y also equals zero. Why is X minus one solution zero, zero? Yep. Uh, so, nominate Love Day. One. One is correct, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. In material science, what term denotes the extremely high ductility shown by certain metals such as zinc-aluminium alloys when deformed at low strain rates at moderately high temperatures? Keys Martinelli. Malleable. No, anyone like to buzz from Maudlin? Maudlin Binney. Hyperductility. No, it's superplasticity. Ten points for this. What name links two major battles in the former East Prussia? The first in 1410 saw Polish, Russian and Lithuanian forces... Keys love day. The Masurian Lakes. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Polish, Russian and Lithuanian forces defeat the Teutonic Knights, while the second, a German victory, is a central event in Solzhenitsyn's August 1914. Maudling Quinn. October. No, it's Tannenberg. Ten points for this. What single word links a textile pattern designed by William Morris depicting birds and fruit? Uh, Horace Maudlin Quinn. Strawberry. Strawberry's right, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on species that are on the Zoological Society of London's list of the world's 100 most endangered species. Firstly, for five points, all found on the Society's list of endangered species, Bulmer's fruit, Seychelles sheath-tailed, and Cuban greater funnel-eared are species of which mammal? Bats, yes. Bat. Correct. Also on the list, plowshare and geometric are endangered species of which reptile of the testudinidae family? Tortoise. 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 Correct. Hula painted, la hot glanded, and table mountain ghost are critically endangered species of which amphibian? Newt. No, they're frogs. Oh, yeah. Right, we're going to take a music round. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music. Ten points if you can name the composer. Keys Love Day. Mendelssohn. It is Mendelssohn, his Italian symphony. <laughs> that was commissioned by the Royal Philharmonic Society, or Philharmonic Society as it plainly was then. Your music bonuses are three more classical pieces commissioned by that society. In each case, simply identify the composer. Firstly, for five, this French composer. Uh, Saint-Saëns. It is, yes. It's perhaps his most famous piece. Secondly, this English composer. Delius. No, that's Arthur Sullivan's overture to Marmion. And finally, this Czech composer. Uh, it's going to Vorschach. 
It is Vorjek, part of his century. Right, ten points for this. The thinnest material known to humanity. Which two-dimensional material... Ah, Modeling Bimmy. Graphene. Graphene is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on travel writing in the 18th century, Maudlin. A tour through the whole island of Great Britain, first published in the 1720s, is a three-volume series of travel writings by which London-born author? <laughs> Johnson. No, it was Daniel Defoe. <laughs> Secondly, unfinished at the time of his death in 1768, a sentimental journey through France and Italy is a novel by which writer who based it on his own European travels? Stern. Yeah. Stern. Stern. Correct. Yeah. Who wrote the Journal of a Tour to the Hebrides based on a journey that he'd undertaken with another writer in 1773? Johnson. Johnson. No, it was Boswell. He was with Johnson. Yeah. Right, ten points for this. Listen carefully, answer as soon as your name is called. What is the sum of the numbers used to denote the French polities that began in 1852 and 1958? Keys Taylor. Seven. Correct. <laughs> The Second Empire and the Fifth Republic. So, a set of bonuses on former government posts for you, Gombel and Keyes. John Profumo served as Secretary of State for War under which Prime Minister? The post was abolished the year after the scandal that forced Profumo's resignation. Macmillan, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Macmillan? Correct. Lord Longford was the penultimate holder of the office of Secretary of State for the Colonies. Who was Prime Minister at the time of its abolition? So, former Commonwealth is like about 1960, it becomes. Wilson? Wilson. 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 We could try Wilson, yeah. Wilson. Harold Wilson's right. Viscount French of Ypres was the last but one Lord Lieutenant of Ireland. Who was Prime Minister during his tenure of office? Arthur Lord George. What's going to make Arthur? Last Lord Lieutenant, last Prime Minister. 1921, going back. Lord George? Lord, yeah, Lord George. Uh, David Lloyd George? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. <laughs> An answer is invariably the parent of a great family of new questions. Which US Nobel laureate wrote those words in the 1951 non fiction work, The Log from the Sea of Cortez? Keith Taylor. William Faulkner. No, anyone like to buzz from Maudlin? Maudlin Binney. Hemingway. No, it's John Steinbeck. Ten points for this. Coined by the Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori in 1970. Maudlin Quinn. Uncanny Valley. Correct. <laughs> it's when a robot becomes so human-like that it bothers you. Right, uh, these are bonuses on computer technology. In each case, give me the words for which the following acronyms stand. BASIC, a general high-level programming language. No, we don't know that. It's beginner's all-purpose symbolic instruction code. Secondly, FAT, a method of keeping track of the contents of a hard drive. Oh, file automated transfer. No, it's file allocation table. And uh, finally, EPROM, a type of memory chip that retains its data after power is switched off. We don't know. It's erasable, programmable, read-only memory. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. Roll two fair six-sided dice. What is the probability that the score will be ten or higher? Maudlin Binney. One in six. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on Kings of France, Maudlin College. Louis V or Louis the Sluggard who died in the year 987, was the last French king of which royal house or dynasty? Carolingian. Correct. Louis XI and Charles VIII were the last two French kings of which royal house? The wife of Henry V of England was also a member. Capetians, I think, yeah. The Capetians. No, it's Valois. Okay. And finally, King of France from 1830 to 1848, Louis Philippe was a member of which cadet branch of the House of Bourbon? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Anything? No. We don't know. Or Lille. 
Oh. Ten points for this. The Empire Salesman was a nickname given to which royal figure on account of the journeys he undertook when Prince of Wales? His last official post was as Governor of the Bahamas. Keith Taylor. Uh, the Duke of Windsor. Correct. Edward VIII, yes. <laughs> so you get a set of bonuses this time on the number 11, Gonville and Keys. Who was the 11th US President following Martin Van Buren, William Henry Harrison and John Tyler? Polk. Correct. Who was the 11th winner of the Nobel Prize for Chemistry following Ernest Rutherford, Wilhelm Ostwald and Otto Wallach? Curie. Which one? M Murray. Murray. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> What was the 11th country to host the FIFA World Cup following England, Mexico and the Federal Republic of Germany? That's Argentina. Yeah. Argentina. Correct. We're going to take a second picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see a portrait of a major religious figure of the 16th century. Ten points if you can name him, please. He's loved it. Martin Luther. Anyone like to buzz from Maudlin? Uh, Maudlin Quinn. Calvin. It is John Calvin, yes. The Protestant reformer. Your bonuses are three more influential figures of the Reformation and Counter Reformation. Mm. Five points for each you can name. Firstly, um, Francis Xavier. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I think it's Francis Xavier. Francis Xavier. No, it's Saint Ignatius uh, Loyola, uh, yeah. founder of the Jesuits. Yeah. Secondly, Luther. No, that's Ulrich Zwingli. And finally... Knox. It is John Knox, the father of Scottish Presbyterianism. Right, another starter question. What five-letter surname links the authors of The Day of the Scorpion, The Voyage of the Discovery and The Heart of Midlothian? Keys Love Day. Scott. Correct. These bonuses are on nuclear energy. Get them all, you'll take the lead. What term is used to describe the type of nuclear reactor that produces more fissile material than it consumes? Energy is just no efficient. <laughs> yeah, try that. Wasteful. No, it's a fast breeder reactor. Secondly, atomic number 11, which light metal can be used as a coolant in fast breeder reactors? Its advantages include the fact that it does not act as a neutron moderator. Sodium. Sodium. Correct. What allotropic form of carbon is used as a neutron moderator in reactors, such as the UK's AGR designs? Diamond. Diamond. Yeah, try that. Diamond. That's graphite. Right, ten points for this. Occurring notably in St John's Gospel, which Greek word is an appellation of the Holy Spirit? Various... Keys love day. Paraclete. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonus is wrong. People born in Catalonia. Born in 1852, which architect's works include the Casa Mia and the Parc Güell, both in Barcelona? Uh, Gaudi. Correct. Born in 1908, which novelist is best known for a stream of consciousness work that has appeared in translation as The Time of the Doves and In Diamond Square? Any ideas? Just... No, don't know. Are we just going to mm -hmm. pass? Um, um, Eleanor Rackbank? Garcia Lorca. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Federico Garcia Lorca. No, it's Merce Rororeda. And finally, which cellist and conductor is noted for his recordings of the Bach cello suites? He died in exile in 1973. It's public cells, right? Yeah, uh, public cells. Correct. Ten points for this. In arthropods, what name is given to the external openings of the trachea found alongside... Keys Martinelli. Spiracles. Correct. These bonuses are on cities in the Bible, Gombel and Keys. Flourishing from the second millennium BC and an important city in both the Old and the New Testament, which Phoenician port is often associated with Tyre, 40 kilometres to the south? Sidon. 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 Correct. What is the first city to be mentioned in the Bible? According to Genesis, it was built by Cain to the east of Eden in the land of Nod and was named after his son. Um, I know it is. Um, city of... Um... Babel. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Babel. No, it's Enoch. 
who is said to have founded many cities, including Babylon and Nineveh, and is described in Genesis as a mighty hunter before the Lord? Nimrod. Nimrod. Yeah. Uh, Nimrod. Nimrod is correct. There are about two and a half minutes to go and uh, ten points for the starter. Corgi, cromlech and flannel are among English words that derive ultimately from which language? Keith Taylor. Welsh. Welsh is correct, yes. <laughs> Don and Keith, these bonuses are on words sometimes pronounced as homophones. In each case, identify the word from the definitions. Firstly, to walk or strut in an ostentatious manner and a small, sealed, bag-like container. Uh, strut, stride. Small, sealed, bag-like. Sachet. 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 Peak, surely. Yeah. yeah. Peak. Peak. Peak is correct. Ten points for this. Garstang Blue, Blacksticks Blue and Dorset Blue Vinny are among varieties of which food? Uh, Modeling Vinny. Cheese. Cheese is correct, yes. <laughs> this is on currencies for you, Maudlin. The Cordoba is the currency of which Central American country? Nicaragua. Correct. What is the monetary unit of Armenia? It shares its name with an imperial unit equal to one sixteenth of an ounce of A grain. A grain. It's dram. Eight countries have currencies called the peso. Seven are in the Americas. Which one is not? It's not to me. Uh, we don't know. It's the Philippines. Ten points for this. Wherever law ends, tyranny begins. These words begin a proposition by which English philosopher in the 1680... Modeling Quinn. Hobbes. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. In the 1689 work, two treatises of government. Keys Love Day. Locke. John Locke is correct. These bonuses <laughs> are on world rulers, Gonville and Keys. I'll read a list of rulers who were on the throne or in power during the first year of a century of the common era. In each case, I simply want the century. First, Tiridates III of Armenia and the Eastern Africa. Gong. Gordon College, Oxford, 155. Gordon and Keyes College, Cambridge, have 215. Well, I think you were pretty unlucky to get a run of questions that you had a bit of misfortune on towards the end because you led for much of the match, Maudlin. You have to come back and win again next time to go through to the semi-finals, but thank you for being with us. Uh, Gonville and Keys, you were a terribly long time getting started, but you were great once you got going. Congratulations to you. You go through to the semi-finals. We shall look forward to seeing you there, and I hope you can join us next time for another quarter-final match. But until then, it's goodbye from Magdalen College, Oxford. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from Gonville and Keys College, Cambridge. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>